Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna unbox and give you my first impressions on this Motorola Edge, but before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, Yes, I'm gonna unbox this Motorola Edge. No, it's not the Edge Plus, but just the Edge. It actually has 5G. This phone is $499. You can get it from Motorola.com or Amazon, which that's where I picked it up. I will leave the links in the description. So if you wanna go ahead and pick up the phone, you can definitely use the links in the description. Motorola has been dropping a lot of phones lately and I wanted to try them all out, I guess. I did pick up the Moto G Fast and then just this Motorola Edge a few days later. So in this video, I'm gonna just do a quick unboxing, start up the phone, go over the fingerprint scanner, check out the storage, and then come back with, you know, follow up videos. I wanna really test out the cameras on here and just give you my overall experience of the phone. So let's get into it. Motorola Edge, protective cover and box. I think that means a case. If you wanna pause the video and read that, you can definitely do so. But let's see what you get. It comes in only one color, which is Sola Black. Kinda looks like bluish. You get some books and stuff. Let me start the phone up. See what you get. You get some books. Do we read books? Nope, we really don't. At least I don't. 18 watt charging brick. Then you also get um, the cable. I don't see no protective. Oh, look underneath the box. It was hidden. So you do get a case with it. Now will it really protect your phone if you drop it? No but it should protect it from getting scratches on the back. So it does come with a case, that's pretty cool. I wish more manufacturers or OEMs actually did that. So I'm gonna put all this back in the box cause who really comes for what's in the box? No headphones or anything either, but let's put that on the side. This is what we come for. Oh, look at that. Yes, it has four different cameras. Little Moto logo back there. Look, it even came on. Bam, look, cut up. Everybody's doing the cutout camera now, the single cutout camera. Yes, it is a edge display. That's why it's called the edge. This does have 5G, so let's go over the phone. That beautiful screen you're looking at is a 6.7 inch 1080p OLED display. So it actually looks pretty good. I'm glad it's not LCD or anything. All right, so let's put the phone on the stand while we talk about it. But yes, a 6.7 inch 1080p OLED screen. It actually has a 90 hertz refresh rate. It has Android 10 straight out the box. It comes with six gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. It does have the Snapdragon 765 processor. So I definitely want to test that out, see how good it actually does. The battery in here is 4,500 milliamp hour battery. So they promise in about two days of battery life, we will definitely find that out and try it out and see how it works. It only comes with an 18 watt charger. I wish it would have a little bit faster of charging, but I guess it is what it is. The front camera is a 25 megapixel camera. It can shoot in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now in the rear, you have a 64 megapixel main shooter. Can shoot in 4K at 30. Then you have a ultra wide and a macro lens of 16 megapixels. And then the telephoto lens is eight megapixels. It has all the lenses that people will look for in a phone, I guess, the ultra wide, the telephoto, and the main shooter. All right, so at the bottom, you have the speaker. You also have a microphone there, the USB charging port, 
Yes, that is the headphone jack. At the top, you have your SIM card slot, another microphone. On the right hand side, you can see the power button, which is reached. Right there, if I can focus, let's see. The ridge power button, then you have vine rockers. And then on the left hand side, nothing. So what I'm gonna do now is pause the video, go set the phone up, and I'll come back and show you a couple things. Okay everyone, so I was able to go ahead and set up the device. Look at it, I love that screen. Screen looks pretty cool. I don't know about the edge display, hopefully it doesn't have accidental touches. But the screen looks pretty good. I did forget to mention it does have the in-display fingerprint scanner. And it works pretty good. What y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comments below. And what y'all think about the screen? I think it looks pretty good. Let's just go into the settings really quick. I always want to test out the storage. 16.65 gigs being used. 7%. Now it does have some of my apps that I've downloaded on here, so it's actually not too bad. Look at those cameras again too. I definitely want to test out the camera, so I'm gonna go shoot some video probably today and try to do a camera test today with the phone. Also, I'm gonna come back and do my first impressions with it also, so that way you can get my impressions of the phone. Y'all let me know in the comments what other type of videos you want to see from me on this device. I would definitely try to make it. I think I'm gonna put it against my Poco phone. Talking about the Poco phone, look at the beautiful thing. Which one do y'all like better? But let's do com some comparisons. The Poco is a little bit taller and a little bit wider too. Look at the bottom. They both have a headphone jack or not, believe it or not. Let's test this out against this little brother, the G7. Here's the G7. The edge is taller, but the G7 is definitely wider. Bottom. Now for my big boy, the V60. And yes, we knew that. <laughs> the V60 is way bigger. But again, y'all let me know what type of videos you wanna see on this device, like I said, I'm definitely gonna test out the cameras, probably do a gaming review, maybe even a speaker test. I'm gonna pick up some cases, but any other videos y'all want, let me know in the comments below. I would definitely try to make it. Again, I'm gonna do some video comparisons and camera comparisons with other devices that I have. I might even put this against my V60, the flagship. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so for more coverage on the Motorola Edge. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forbes Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.